Constantine, since Monday, the government's requiring people who leave the bloody country to have filled out a permit stating their reasons for leaving. Uh, Grant Shapp said today that international travel remains illegal. I mean, I can understand why you might not want me back, but I don't understand why you would stop me leaving. I mean, there's, some, there's something very East Berlin about that, isn't there? No, there is. There is. Uh, you know, and there was, it's another point about uh, the government restrictions that Philip made it earlier before we joined the call, which is that uh, some of the way this, this has been handled, our freedoms have been seized from us without any parliamentary scrutiny, which, it, which should worry people, I think. Uh, but the point that I was going to make when I uh, accidentally, but nonetheless rudely talked mm -hmm. over <laughs> Hella, uh, w was about the believability of what the government is saying. I mean, one of the things that I would be very happy to accept the current schedule if I thought it was true, but I don't think this idea that yes, we'll take it extra slow now so that we can guarantee not to roll any of this back. Well, that's nonsense because the moment the infection spikes for any reason, they'll come back and lock us down again. So I think on a lot of these things, we've got to be very, very careful uh, to, to consider proportionality. And one of the questions that, you know, as Ella mentioned, and Chris will, will uh, concede this about himself, we've all changed our minds about certain things over this period of time. One question that has never been answered satisfactorily in my mind is how many people die from lockdowns? That question has never been answered. It's never really been asked particularly. I've never heard Boris Johnson be forced to ask that, uh, answer that question. And that is a, an answer we need to know because we're trying to solve a mathematical equation without looking at one of the sides. Uh, and I think uh, given some of the concerns that people have about the impact of lockdowns, particularly over a five year period, that is a conversation we should be having. We've seemed to go full anti COVID and completely ignored everything else. And I know people otherwise who would have lived a long, healthy life who've sadly died because of lockdown. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's tragic. And we need to know what that is because this isn't the first time there's going to be a pandemic. And we need to have an inquiry after this is over to understand what the impact has been so that we know what to do next time. 